me personally, like I had no sense of direction. I come from a community uh, where without resources, uh, you don't end up in a career, you end up in jail. This is a social problem, and if we don't address the social problem, it affects the fabric of our community. You know, I didn't want to go back to jail for family court. Kids need clothes, kids need milk, you know, so it's like, do something. And then when you go to court, you gotta, they quick to say, your strives out here, you're not trying, but you know, and then I used to look at it as, well, you're not out here with me. I got to a point where I saw the numbers adding up. I got to 500 applications, 900, and I'm like, it ain't no jobs for me out here. My name is Ron Anthony Pyatt. I am from Florence, South Carolina. I didn't graduate high school at all, actually. I went back and got my high school diploma online and going back and forth to family court. You know, they gave me an ultimatum. You can participate in a fatherhood initiative program where you can go to jail for three months. And I was like, where's the program? I'm Derek Deese. I'm the executive director for Man to Man Fatherhood Initiative. Here at Man to Man, we provide the means for dads to be better fathers. We are an agency that uh, creates the atmosphere for men to thrive. Ron Pye came to us. Uh, he was a father that didn't really think he needed the program. Uh, he came and he participated in sessions, um, but he didn't understand even then what it meant to be a bit better father, why I need to be here, why I need to participate. When I first started going, I just used to sit there slouched down like, they can't relate. And I'm listening and I'm like, well, I got it harder than him, I got it harder than him. And then I met Daniel and then I started talking to Daniel a little more and he was like, you gotta take the blame. You know, you, you gotta step up and you gotta look in the mirror and be like, well, I blame you. And I was like, what am I blaming me for? Most of our men that come to us have not been fathered themselves. And when they haven't been fathered themselves, it's hard to put a man into something he's never done and expect for him to thrive. By spending time with them and addressing, helping them address not just their job skills, but also their personal issues that many times interfere with them able to thrive. My name is Mark Himes. I'm the program manager with the South Carolina Center for Fathers and Families. So at the South Carolina Center for Fathers and Families, we are a statewide network of fatherhood programs. And at the center, I help with overseeing those sites. We uh, manage various grants. We do technical assistance, training, anything to help those sites work effectively and efficiently. Our father programs do a variety of things for fathers, and, and the ultimate goal is to strengthen families. But of course, being a good father also means being a good provider. So a lot of our participants come to our program um, either unemployed or underemployed. One of our focuses is to provide them services and resources to help them get better jobs and into a career ultimately. We take them through a, what we would call a CUDA career assessment. With that, we're able to sort of get a snapshot of their interests and what kind of workplace would they like to work in. It allows us to understand, and allows them to understand uh, where their interests lie, where their skills lie. I'm attracted to torch cutting and being able to mold things out of metal. I was like, I want to be a welder. So we have a 20 hour employment bootcamp. Uh, this is a 20 hour uh, programmatic, rigorous uh, training in which we allow them to understand what employees want, where they look at themselves, see where they are in life and set goals where they need to be. Our final component is economic stability. Our economic stability sessions comprise of uh, men understanding or fathers understanding uh, what it is to be economically healthy. They need to understand how to budget. They need to understand how to provide for their child. They need to understand how do I position myself as a father to be able to help support my family. We're also focused on developing training opportunities for our participants through the technical schools and any other programs that are available to our participants. On our end, we do the boot camp and provide the soft skills and the, the career assessment, but now we want to make sure that our participants also get the skills training that they need to be effective in the workforce. My name is Charlotte Forrest. 
I work in corporate and workforce development as a industry program manager. In our training division, there's just a countless amount of training programs that are available to put people to work right away. And those programs can span anywhere from one day to several weeks and months. Our college is, is uh, as far as location and just in general, uh, best suited to meet the challenges that we face with uh, making sure that we have middle skilled workers who are qualified to go into the uh, various industries here. What we find is that 45% of jobs in South Carolina fall in that middle skill range. So you need something more than the high school education, but you don't need all the way to a four year degree. Unfortunately, only 29% of our population fits within that range. And so that's part of the gap that we see right now is we don't have enough workers with the kind of education level of the jobs that we have. One thing I love about the man-to-man -man partnership and what Florence Darlington Tech, specifically in our division where we're offering kind of short-term training so that people can quickly get to work. Fathers can come here, they can pick a variety of different uh, training options, and you know, we really drive and force them to think about what they want to do for the long term, not just for the short term. Going to school to be a welder differs from just filling out applications, trying to find a job. You know, I, I focused and I dug in and I, I finished it three weeks ahead of time. You know, and that was my main focus. The lady at the um, unemployment office, she was like, you're so adamant about being a welder. I'm like, I'm gonna be a welder. So when these men are actually on a college campus, their eyes open up. They see themselves as, wow, I'm here. I never would think that I would be on a college campus. But not just there, but actually participating, earning uh, certifications. So me, I'm always one of them kind that you had to prove me. <laughs> I'm already you had to show me. And uh, I've been going there, going on four months now. I'm thinking, God, I got a great job. Man, man put me through that to help me. Now I'm a step ahead, stand down here, I'm up here. Now, I think the significance of this course for the fatherhood participants is they gain a skill set, especially if they're trying to start over and trying to get back into the workplace. Their program and our program just fit right together. It's just been, it's been a win-win is all I could say, for the community. And with this partnership, we've been able to bring community, education, and workforce all together to get, get people working and get them um, the skill that they need to be to succeed. I hit the ground running. I'm a welder now. Before I got this job or before I started going to school, retiring from a job was not a thought of mine. I feel a whole lot better now when I step outside my door. I'm in a position where if anything was to happen to me, God forbid, my kids are taken care of. You know, and that's an accomplishment to me. I'm just not the same person I was when I came from the streets to man to man to Florence Concrete. I didn't look forward to going to any other janitorial job I had, a warehouse job I had, because it was just like same song and dance, you know, but being a part of this company, it's like, and I come through the bank or the grocery store with a different type of strut now. <laughs> it's like, I used to come in, show the slouch, dragging, like, huh. Now when I come in, back straight, head hell high, like, I know who I am now. <laughs>